welcome to the very new series from the Belkett Tour, Bridal Styles 101. And of course, uh, if you know, if you read the title, it is Bridal Styles. So for this part of the video, we will be talking about the oldest gown collection of like 2015 and we will like count down all the way to 2021. Which is also partly uh, partly why we do, do this video is because that we are counting down to the new uh, gown collection, which is the Modernist gown collection. And if you guys are interested to know a bit of uh, more information of Modernist, you guys can refer to our YouTube playlist, uh, Live Sketching with Jimmy C. So you will be uh, listening to what he says, you know, what inspired the gowns, so on and so forth. Okay, that one put aside. So today we have our designer, Jimmy. Hi. Hi. So, Jimmy, so today for our first episode, right, you will be starting off with the 2015 gown collection, Chantilly and Tool. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what you want to know about the collection? Okay, so maybe, Jimmy, you can share with us a bit of an introduction of how, like, gowns have, uh, was in, like, what are the trends of uh, wedding gowns in 2015? Okay, in 2015, I think mostly people are looking at dresses that with more lace. Mm -hmm. That's why we named our collection uh, Chantilly and Two. Uh, so, because most of the dress is uh, the structure, the, the design is based on Chantilly lace and then two in combinations. Uh. Mm. So, in the trends, usually it's a full lace dress and mostly are white gowns, Ooh. single tones, and then some back details and long trends. Uh. Right. I think it was affected by some of the celebrities who get married that year as well. Oh, okay. So since Jimmy, you're talking about the celebrities, the ending part of the of this video, we will be sharing of like one of the more famous weddings in in the world at mm. that year of the one five. Samela, yeah. Like, yeah and no. <laughs> who? Who? You tell me who? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so of course when you were when we were talking about tools, right? I think partly the reason why it was so in trend was that during uh in 2010, tools were suddenly like flourishing because of Vera Wang, right? Vera mm. Wang. Yeah. So for her gown collection, so I mean we just uh, extracted some online just for your references. You put the photos here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, really like, so yeah, you see, for the first part of the Vera Wang's uh, gown collection, it's like back details, right? Mm. Like back designs. She uh, like to use a lot of tools. Yeah, and right. Some, like layering the softness of the dress. So mm. our collection is quite similar. Yeah, with the yeah. this ball gown looking mm. dress. Basically, trends is like that. So normally we were inspired by certain like dress trends throughout the years. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Like all the celebrities as well, right? Yes. So you see, we also had the lace bag. Yes. And then the train is pretty long also. Mm. I mean like for Vera Wang's uh, collection, I realised that when I was googling online, right, it was very grunge, mm. like grungy, very gothic, like kind of feel also. Mm -hmm. But of course, like wedding is a bit different lah. So we, we, we inspire but we don't call. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, this is like her layers. That's not bad, okay. Then, I mean, the bell designed it like pretty close, uh, quite close, right? Yeah, then. Follow the trends, uh, because wedding dresses mm -hmm. usually, it really depends on what is in the trends. So, most of the boutique, they will have like something similar. Because mm -hmm. whatever shot on the trend, people will definitely mm -hmm. come and look for it. Like right. last time, the Cat Middleton wedding, the okay. long sleeve is super in trend. Yeah. So, everybody is looking for long sleeve dress. Like the very so minimalist one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, normally, trends are like that. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. But of course, advice is not to follow the trend to choose a wedding dress, but mm. of course, you can have some elements of it. Oh, right, because mm. at the end of the day, the wedding has to be timeless, right? Yes. If not, when you look back at the photos, a bit cringy, yes, right? It has, to be, it has to be suitable for you as well. Like, you cannot be like, oh, the trend now is my law bag. Then your bag got a lot of like, acne. Then you, <laughs> you want to do the law bag thing. It doesn't suit you. Uh. Okay, so if in that scenario, right, in that circumstance, what will you do? What will you recommend as a bridal advisor? If like this person, okay, like maybe yeah, the, the trend is like the bag design, but mm -hmm. her bag is not very, it's not her asset. Okay, mm -hmm. so what should you, what, what will you suggest? You can point? choose something with bare bag, but with a sheer layer of like netting that have some mm -hmm. coverage. Then the effect is like uh, Photoshop. Oh. You know, because the skin colour thing, it can actually, like, it can cover the, the redness of your back. Oh, okay, yeah, so okay. So, you can also design with, with, with a sheer layer of, like, uh, skin colour. Mm. So some coverage. Something but, like this, lah. Yes, and mm. sometimes you can achieve the bad back. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, this one is actually very nice, though. It's, like, very Chongsam inspired, ah. Mm. 
Yeah, I mean like uh, during 215, you were still not in the bell la. Yeah. Same as me la, okay yeah. la. But we did our research la. We, we try our best la, okay? <laughs> okay, so but then before, okay, so before tools inspiration, right? What was the trend back then? Like when you talk, talk about like material. Back then was certain, uh, certain oh. UG, I think certain is been the trend since 208. I mean after Cat Middleton, I think mm. rooms that a lot of people are looking for. The very simple and timeless look. Oh, like very clean, right? Like very pearly kind of yes. thing. Okay, so then what does Chantilly really kind of mean? Like, I okay, I don't know. Chantilly Ch- feels a bit like satin, like silk also, right? Yeah, Chantilly is a delicate silk lining, mm-hmm. uh, synthetic bobby lace. Mm-hmm. So it's a bit like um, yeah, Chantilly. <laughs> Santini lace usually is a, uh, it means like pure white lace. Okay. And then it have a, 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 a very small details of linings on the lace. So it's very delicate. Oh. Mm, then it has a lot of like motif and prints uh, on the lace. Uh. Oh. So usually you can use as the upper layer of the, the, the part of the dress that you look very nice. Oh, okay. So it's also a bit like lace. It's lace, but it, it has the, the more delicate prints. Oh, delicate like, prints. Okay, okay, understand. Yeah, it's the most expensive lace you can find in the market. Why, why was the layering look so in trend? Other than Vera Wang, one. Ver- just Vera Wang. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, thanks Jimmy. After sharing us, you know, like the wedding trends in 215 and what is like kind of the, the, you know, the influence, maybe we can also take a look right now at uh, a few of our gown collections. Like these are all the photos, like during the, you know, the models, they do the photo shoot. Lah. Mm-hmm. But are the gowns available in the bell now? Uh, it's a 2015 collection, which mm. means like back that to about five years ago. Oh. So most of the dress won't be around already because dresses usually what I either is out of trend and then it's tarnished already. Right. Yeah. So maybe we only have like left one or two dresses. Right, right. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm. I see, I see. So back then the collection you can tell that uh most we are heavily used on the Chantilly lace to mm. create the collections. Right. Mm-hmm. So you can see all the dresses. Very with nice. Lace. Yeah. But the trend now is slightly different. Uh. Yeah. So looking forward to our new collection, something very yes. clean and timeless and more modern. Ooh, yeah. right, right, right. But it doesn't mean that the lace is not modern. Like, it's just that back then the trend is like that. So you can see, even see like dresses mm. like this, mm. it's a mixture of like pink and uh, Tiffany lace mm. to create a, a different effects. Uh. Yeah, like even the colour combination is a bit different also. Yes, it's more ball back then. Mm, mm, but mm. not those that like, sucking colours. Right. So most colour they use mm-hmm. is something more pastel. Mm-hmm. So it gives the softer, elegant look. Right. And actually, okay, to be honest, right, if I look at Belle's dress, to be honest, the style is very timeless. Mm. If Let's say, like, for example, if right now this Tiffany blue and the pink colour, they would, we change it to like a ivory or white. Honestly, mm-hmm. it will still be like on yes. trend. It will still yeah. look very nice. Yeah. yeah. Usually in La Belle, the dress, just honestly for dresses, mm-hmm. right, the cutting is quite basic. Okay, so yes. So as you can tell through, uh, throughout the years, right, usually dresses is only three basic silhouettes. Yes. Yeah, mermaid, airline, and ball gown. Yeah. So it comes with different necklines. So it really depends on mm. what kind of material that you use and then what kind of combination is in the trend. Ooh, mm. and of course the colors as well, yes. right? Like, yeah, right now we are looking at a pastel purple, but now it's like not mm. very on trend. Yeah. La. But I mean, the, honestly, the colors are very beautiful though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's really. Yeah, I, I, I think, okay, honestly, any, if your sentai very nice, like your body very nice and stuff, like, even if you wear it now, you'll look very beautiful, mm. so, yeah. Dresses usually won't go out of style, so, unless you're doing, like, very avant-garde look. Oh. Yeah, or very signature, like, like, Princess Diana, when mm-hmm. you dress, you got the, the big princess sleeve one. Oh. So that one you be like, oh, you definitely can tell which year it's from. Right, like, that, that signature, like, uh, asset of, yes. that, that, of that year, like, of, yeah, okay. That's fun. Um, so maybe like, you know, since uh, we will be talking about, you know, since after we've talked about the wedding inspirations, you know, the main highlights of the wedding gowns and how La Belle Couture uh, designed all these gowns mm-hmm. for Chantilly and Two, maybe now we can talk about something more fun, mm-hmm. like tea, you know, Fei Wen, uh, like mm-hmm. Jay Cho and uh, Hannah, Hannah Quinlevan, Quinlevan, sorry. Can I hear listening one yeah. day if Labelle is famous? Just my sister in law. Your sister in law. 
<laughs> yeah, so back then, right, maybe we can share a bit of history. Um, when they actually got married, it was in 2015 as well. Mm. And they actually had two weddings. Yeah. Yeah, one in February. The one is in France or Paris, is it? Yeah. And the other one is in Australia. Ooh, okay, okay. So, uh, okay, actually I went online to uh, download this video. So, of course, credits to that person. So, we'll be watching this video and I think it will. it's actually quite quite interesting. La. Actually, her dress is so short, made of, made of sen- uh, chantilly lace. Ooh. Mostly with a hard shirt back. Ooh. So, after her wedding, a lot of brides also looking for dresses with a hard shirt. Hard shirt back, right? Yeah. Oh, LaBelle also has it, right? We have something similar. Or oh, something similar like, I mean of course mm. we can't completely like duplicate the design mm. but we do have it Sans la. Oh okay so this is something like uh, La Belle Couture has like a heart shaped back mm. gown But the colour a bit <laughs> It's more daring <laughs> Very daring yeah I mean it's, this is more like an evening gown la. Mm-hmm. I mean technically like um, Remember when we were talking about modernists uh, During the live sketching with you during Covid mm-hmm. Like uh, you also did a gown Like you guys also designed a gown Like inspired like Chongsam evening gown mm. Is this also part of the inspiration? Like mm-hmm. is the, do you like go back to like Our old gown designs Our old gown collections And then you sort of like Pick a bit to inspire yourself Come up with the design? Uh, honestly, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, very yeah. real. <laughs> Actually, we reference uh, normally we reference online like, like uh-huh. different fashion show, even mm. like uh, even like ready to wear or couture mm. dresses, and we get some ideas on what is the trend is looking forward mm. to mm, mm, But mm. Uh, for the modernist collections, uh, we created it because of the COVID, mm-hmm. because due to the coronavirus, right? Everybody uh-huh. is affected, especially mm-hmm. for weddings. Mm. Uh, Wedding wise, uh, scale wise, it becomes smaller. Right. So we don't need something too elaborate or super long trend, mm. which that it might not suit the venue that you are aiming for, la. Right, right. So that's why we go with something more classic and simple and easy for you to like, mingle around. Right. And maybe that like, just one dress you can wear it throughout. Yeah, it's like a timeless, yeah. like that signature piece, la. Mm. Okay guys, thanks Jimmy for being part of this episode one, our new opening for Bridal Styles 101. Yeah, Thank so you. yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for being here. Looking forward to our new collection. Yes, very excited. So this remember guys for this series is a countdown to our new 2021 collection of modernings. For more information, remember to watch the live sketching with Jimmy C. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. So remember to stay tuned for next episode where we will be talking about uh, 2016 gown collection as well and we will have another guest which is uh, you, will, you will see her or you will listen to her when the episode comes. So thanks for watching and we will see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.